quite well who we are. Uh, tremendous welcome we've received, and uh, I, I'm looking forward to a very good evening. I'd like to introduce uh, the members of the commission or have them introduce themselves, and I'll start with the vice chair. Francois Chamapel Cohen Dodds. Hello, my name is Jim Bickerton. I'm from Antigonish and I teach at St. Francis Xavier University. Good evening. Uh, my name is Doug Peach and I'm from Cape Breton. Moi, je suis Paul Godin de Saunierville. Je m'appelle Barbara Feeney et je demeure à Mahone Bay. Jill Grant from Dartmouth. I would also like to introduce Daryl Eisen, who is the, dir the director for this commission. So any questions about sending in material or whatever you might want to ask about, he's, he'll welcome you. Our very able technicians over here, who are with us pretty well all the time, Reed Jones and Matthew Hemian. And, and finally, we have very capable translation service for those who, who need it, and I'm one of those. Uh, and they are Richard Landry and James Crombie. They're the, they're the translators, and their technician is Edwin Doucette. Well, look, I'm going to begin by reminding you in, in very short form of the terms of reference that we have been given. And then I will outline something about the procedure we will follow this evening. So just to, to remind you about our terms of reference, we have to delineate not more than 52 seats based on most recent electoral population data. We have to give paramount importance to relative parity of voting power through constituencies of equal population to the extent possible. In other words, ensure that there is a fair distribution of voting power among Nova Scotians. We are to ensure that all constituencies have not more than or less than 25% of the average number of voters, electors per constituency in the province. And then finally, we should consider how to address concerns about the size of geographical areas, sometimes they're very large, community history and interests, and linguistic and, and cultural diversity, in particular, Acadian and African Nova Scotia population. Because this is a public gathering, uh, what we say is being recorded. So therefore, uh, each speaker is asked to identify himself or herself by name. And we, because we have 23 registered speakers tonight, are going to set a 10 minute uh, limit, and you, you, you can add that yourself, uh, to see that it's probably quite a lot. But I also appreciate that some of you would have taken very, very considerable time to put together uh, the, the kind of wording you want to submit. So we will, you know, we'll go over a bit, but please, if you can, try to stay within that 10 minute limit. It would be very much appreciated. And finally, for everyone, whether you're a presenter or not, we would appreciate, in order to help us hear what's being said, if you'd withhold your, your very supportive, I'm sure, applause and, and, and just whatever support you wish to give until the speaker has completed his or her presentation. Okay, thanks. So we're going to begin with Colette King, Municipality of Clare. <laughs> 